Before she was a collegiate player, or an all-star runner, Lauren Rohach, a Cal Lutheran senior, was a daughter to Marcy and Jerry Rohach, who passed down the traits of a passion for sports. My parents both went to Central College in Pella, Iowa. My dad played baseball there, and my mom ran track and played on the basketball team for a little bit. With her parents both being accomplished collegiate athletes, Lauren and her two brothers always grew up around sports. Their family is a team of athletes. Uh, I began sports when I was probably four or five. I think I started playing out in the little co-ed soccer leagues with my brothers. And then I played baseball when I was younger um, with my brother until I was eight or nine. And then I began playing softball. And um, so basketball, soccer, and uh, baseball were pretty much all my first sports. Um, I don't know, I enjoyed them all because I always went from season to season, so I always had you know, something new to look forward to. Growing up in Moore Park, California, Lauren attended Moore Park High School, where she joined the volleyball, basketball, and track teams her freshman year. In high school, I chose to play volleyball in the fall, basketball in the winter, and then run track in the spring. Um, it was just what I was used to growing up around, and so when I came to Cal Lutheran here to play two sports, it was uh, not really that big a deal because I was just so used to that. By her sophomore year, Lauren had quickly risen to the top in all of her sports, making the varsity team in volleyball and basketball. However, she soon faced a new struggle. Um, yeah, my sophomore year of high school, uh, I'd kind of, you know, gained momentum, started playing on varsity um, for volleyball and basketball. And in one of the first uh, tournaments of the volleyball season that fall, I tore my ACL, which is, as most people know, it's an injury that'll, you know, keep you out for six to eight months, um, if not more sometimes, depending on how, how recoveries go. I was playing in the last game of our our last preseason tournament in high school and uh, I went up to hit a ball and it was just a little bit too far outside and I came down and landed on my left leg and hyperextended my knee and just went straight to the floor you know and was dramatic and crying because it's one of those things that it happens and you're like yep there it went you know and uh, so it was a little bit traumatic just because like I said I had never gotten even minor hurt before, you know, never had to sit out of the game or anything like that. So um, it, I guess this isn't a good thing, but my dad and my brother each ended up hurting their ankles and breaking their ankles in like that same time span. So we spent a lot of time with the physical therapist. So we're still really good friends with them. But Lauren didn't let her injury weaken her spirits. She took her time off the court and track as a time to grow and to mature. It was hard to get through at first, a lot of tears and a lot of like, what am I going to do now? Because I was just so used to always going, going, going. And um, so that was, that was a big change for me my sophomore year to try to fight and come back then because I missed all three of my sports seasons then. And, uh, you know, only playing for three years in high school then is kind of a bummer. But um, I think that just helped me to, I think that just helped me to work harder um, to kind of appreciate uh, the sports that I played and um, to compete and to be with those teams every day. And I think that's something that I look on back on now, like it doesn't matter, you know, what little pain I could be feeling, even if it's in my knee and it scares me, like, you know, especially this year, I don't have that much time left. So um, I think that's something that definitely helped me to mature early on in my more prominent athletic career. Motivated by her will to compete and be with the team again, Lauren returned to play all three sports her junior and senior year and was recruited to play volleyball and run track at CLU. I chose CLU because I loved everything about Division Three playing sports here, uh, the campus when I came and visited. Uh, I only live like 10 minutes away. Um, so I was really against staying close to home. I was always one of those in high school. I was like, I'm leaving California. And I came and visited um, on a recruiting trip for volleyball and I loved it. I loved the team. I loved the campus. Um, I loved the dorms, everything about it. 
uh, I could, it was just a place that I could see myself at and that's really what I was looking for. That really just put it all into perspective that like this was the place that I wanted to be. And Lauren soon proved that she was right where she deserved to be. Her records on and off the playing field are outstanding. In volleyball, Lauren and her team are three-time Skyac champions and the 2011 NCAA West Region champions. Lauren is a three-time scholar athlete and is projected to be among the top three all-time CLU Regals point scorers by the end of this season. But her records don't stop there. Lauren is number one in all-time CLU history in the long jump, 4x100, and 4x400 meter relay, and ranks in the top 10 all-time CLU history in the 100, 200, 400, and 800 meter dash. We've been Sky champions in volleyball for three years now, um, and so that'd, great to, that'd be great to leave my senior year as four years in a row being Sky champions. But what Lauren prides herself on most is her ability to balance her sports, school, social life, and family. Balancing sports and academics and friends and family has been the hardest thing to uh, really work with in college. Um, it wasn't as big a deal in high school because you know your academics were all day at school. After school you had sports time and then you go home, you see your family, maybe hang out with your friends at least on the weekends. Um, and that was definitely a transition to you know be around my friends all the time because I think in high school I hung out with the people that I played sports with and um, it's been a little different now but it's helped me to appreciate you know my time with them and the little things and I think I've realized that this year that you know I can go hang out with them for a little bit longer and know that I can still get my schoolwork done and sacrifice sleep because you know this is what I live for and uh, know that I won't be able to do this ever again. And my parents have been really supportive the last three years um, and before that with having all of us play sports um, it's great to have them nearby to go home you know if you just need a home-cooked meal or a hug or just a just someone to kind of get your feelings out to for the day whether it's technically in track or emotionally in both track and volleyball they have just been so much help and kind of my rocks. I think I'm most proud about being able to do all of the things that I do and hopefully do them well. After I graduate, I am thinking about going to grad school for optometry and I would also love to stay involved in sports, whether it's coaching and other things like that. <laughs>